Mal 13. Reverend Kingsley seeks to reposition God's people through revival for the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is a graduate from the University of Ghana, Legon Accra. When God called him to go into full-time ministry, he left the managerial position of a mining company and obeyed. He is a strong and forthright preacher of the word, a mentor and father to those God has placed under his ministry. His messages center on the Holy Ghost, righteousness, discipline and order in the body of Christ. He has a strong desire for the manifestation of the gifts of the Holy Ghost and the power of God in the body of Christ. Currently, he is on a campaign for total consecration, a spiritual effort which seeks to release an outbreak of the holiness of God in the church and the world at large. He is known across the world as the holiness revivalist. He is a writer who puts the mind of God into print for the edification of the children of God. His books, namely The Fear of God, The Presence of God, Total Consecration, The Power of Holiness, and The Joseph of My Destiny have blessed many people across the world. He and his wife Ivy live with their three children in Accra, where he pastors the Holiness Temple, House of Consecration Ministry. With a round of applause and a grandiose standing ovation, shall we welcome Reverend Kingsley George J. Ajaman. Come on, put those hands together, and if your voice is alive, give the Lord a shout. Come on, give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Why don't you lift up your two hands tonight? Lift up your two hands. Say this with me, Heavenly Father. Shout it like your voice is yours, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, in my month of mercy, as my hands are lifted, let mercy, shout it, let mercy locate my life. Say, Lord, I am in desperate need of your mercy. I need mercy like never before. I need your mercy in my home, in my business, in my career, in my ministry, in every department of my life. Let your mercy locate me in the name of Jesus. Say, tonight, I refuse to go back without your supernatural mercy. Whatever it takes for me to experience your mercy tonight, every day of my life, let that grace locate me. In one minute, open your mouth and begin to talk to God. Talk to God. Place a demand on his supernatural mercy. We need the mercy of God. We need the mercy of God, particularly in this dispensation, particularly in this the state of economy. You need the mercy of God. You need the mercy of God in your home, in your marriage, in your business, in every area of your life. Open your mouth and place a demand on the supernatural. It's our month of mercy. We need God to embellish us. We need God to intoxicate us with his supernatural mercy. Tell God you are you are not going back the same way you came. You will collide into his mercy. You need his mercy. You need his mercy to settle you. You need his mercy to make you successful. You need his mercy to make you better. You need his mercy to make your tomorrow better than your present. Open your mouth. Talk to God. Masakataya. Lepra katakataya. Come on, talk to God. The mercy of God. It is the mercy of God that will see you through the end of the year. It is the mercy of God that will carry you through the rest of the year. The mercy of God. You cannot afford to miss out on God's mercy. What you truly need now is God's mercy. God's mercy to finish well. God's mercy to end 2022 well. Open your mouth. Talk to God. One more minute. I want to hear people praying. The mercy of God, the mercy of God, the mercy of God must settle you. The mercy of God must promote you. The mercy of God must make you ten times better than your contemporaries. Open your mouth. Ask God for mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Makata kataya. 
Lepra kata 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 ya. Ila do satata. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Eternal Father, tonight, once again, we have gathered before your throne of grace. Not necessarily because we want to hear a man. We have gathered tonight because we are looking for something. And what we are looking for, no man can give it to us. Only you, God, can release it. Therefore, tonight, I pray that you anoint me with coals of fire. Let me not speak my own words, but let me speak the words you have put in my spirit. For every man, every woman that will be hearing the sound of my voice, Holy Ghost, breathe upon them. Put every enemy of their destiny to perpetual shame. Before end of this year, let them rise from the place of obscurity. Tonight, I pray for clarity in speech and precision in your unvarnished word. Let your word bring deliverance. Let your word bring emancipation. Let your word liberate somebody. Let somebody that thought it was all over suddenly begin to feel the agency to succeed. Thank you, my father. Not once have you dishonored me. Tonight, honor me before your people. Let every prophetic word I will release over your people, let there be a manifestation. Bless tonight's service in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the precious Holy Ghost. And everyone who holla a thunderous amen. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Come on. Clap those hands together. We want to appreciate my bosom friend, Reverend Enoch from London is here. He's from CLF Church. Appreciate him. He's not a stranger to us at all. Man of God, I love you. I appreciate you. We are like family. So one more time, celebrate him. Good man. You know, there are things I know he wouldn't want me to say, but this is a good man. Oh yeah, he's a good man. He's a good man. There are things he did for me that perhaps he didn't even know, but this man is a good man. One more time, help me appreciate him. He's a good man. He's a very good man. He's a very good man. And I, I still remember a few times I was in London and I needed to do a few things. He would make time for me, take me here, take me there. Or be any time, so. So when and he's a man of God for that matter. He's caught up with so many engagements, but he still made time. And for me, those things I appreciate. Only so I bust when you may be how I won't appreciate. But maybe I appreciate everything because life oh, without people you are finished. Though. No, no, no matter who you are, you still can never be an island and be successful. He will be there in the catch and say, Ah, bro, once a what? Catch and say, Ah, to the BM say, Who sports in the dad? Catch and say, You go for you make up ten. Catch and say, Go for dress it down. Catch a brand to be a town and say, Hey, who will you? The only name you'll be in town. It's a bro, once a what? Who they say, Won't you mean two car? One pa. We'll be frosted by Srana and Sidi and Amikwaji. So first, we are now Oko. They say, your sister, my sister, and Pelede. We should be preaching in Pelede. Hello. So, man of God, thank you so much for your friendship. I appreciate you sincerely. All right, let's celebrate the mama of the house. Come on. I haven't asked you to stop clapping, so why are you stopping? Yes, yeah, so thank you, mommy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. She's a wonderful wife. She's powerful. <laughs> she's powerful. You don't know, she's powerful. <laughs> oh, Jesus is Lord. Let me preach. <laughs> but it's been a while we saw the pearls. Let's appreciate the pearls. Good ministration. Celebrate Anita and her people. Awesome, awesome. All right. Please be seated in heavenly place. Somebody shall fire. Somebody shall fire. Somebody shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, this evening, both Manchester and Chelsea folks, we are all in the same boat. So nobody can mock the other. Chelsea lost. I quickly posted the video to mock them. I didn't know what was coming next. Oh, yes. <laughs> At least Kotoko made me happy. <laughs> Kotoko won, so it's good. Amen. 
I told you um, this morning that I'm going to be speaking because it's our month of mercy. I'm going to be speaking on the role or the impact of mercy. Somebody shout the role or the impact of mercy. Yes, you can title it the role of mercy or the impact of mercy. One more time, shout it the impact of mercy. Those of you at the back, are you here? You have gone. Say the impact of mercy. Say it like you are desperately looking for mercy tonight. The impact of mercy. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, shout it, Father, tonight, show me mercy. Please say it like you mean it. My Father, my Father, tonight, show me mercy. One more time, scream it. My Father, my Father, show me mercy. Listen, if you truly made that behelmet declaration, between now and benediction, mercy will hit you like tornado. I don't like your amen at all. Mercy is coming upon your life tonight. Somebody shout, I am the one. The mercy of God. Sit down. The impact of God's mercy. The impact of God's mercy. Now, tonight, I want you to open your heart. Open your heart. Follow this teaching very, very meticulous. The truth of the matter is, nothing matches the unadulterated word. Nothing in this life can beat the word of God. Hello. The word of God, the Bible says, is quick and it's what? Powerful. Look at somebody and tell the person, God's word is quick. Tell somebody, God's word can give you an immediate testimony. Tell somebody, God's word can give you an immediate prosperity. Yes, the word of God is quick and it's powerful. It can arrest and kill any witch for your sake. Say I hear. So open your heart and receive the engrafted word. Because God told me my place of prayer. That tonight, mercy will locate your head. Your amen is like entertainment. So open your spirit and receive the engrafted word. Everything you are looking for in this life is embedded in the unadulterated word. Don't forget God himself spoke in Psalm 138. I think the verse 2. He said he has magnified his word above his many names. He has exalted his word above his many names. Who is speaking here? Talk to me. Who is speaking here? What is he talking about? His word. That is how much God venerates his word. That is how much God respects his word. Hello? So you that is ready to receive the unadulterated word, I want you to place premium on this prophetic word I'm preaching tonight. See, I hear. Because God Almighty said, I have exalted my word above all my names. So when you see a man that is succeeding, when you see a man that looks invincible, it's because the word of God dwells in the heart of that man richly. Tonight, as your hearts are open, may the word of God make you a high flyer. May the word of God make you hundred times better than your contemporaries. I prophesy with my telescopic eyes, by the engrafted word, you will be better than your colleagues. You will end 2022 in grand style. Receive that power. Receive that grace. Rise up and shall fire. The word of God. Jesus said in John 6, 63. He said the words I speak, they are spirit. And they are life. So every time you receive the word of God, you receive spirit and you receive life. You receive spirit and you receive life. Kabaya. The prophet said in Ezekiel chapter 2, I think the verse 2. He said the spirit entered me as he spake the word. And the word set me up on my feet. The question is, where did the word lift him from? Tonight, as you are receiving the engrafted word, God, through his word, will lift you from shame, will lift you from poverty, will lift you from bad luck, will lift you from backwardness. Am I talking to somebody? As your heart is open to receive, may you be lifted tonight. I say, may you be lifted tonight. Any accident they have planned for you, as the spirit is speaking, as the word is entering your life, God will lift you above accident. Between now and 31st, every untimely death, the word of God will stop it in your life. I say the word of God will stop it in your life. Rise up and shout, I shall not die, but I will live to declare the word of God. So that is why Anytime you come into house of consecration, you should be looking forward to God's word. Oh, goodness. I love to prophesy. You know now, 
Prophecy is not a problem in this house. But more importantly, the teaching and preaching of God's word is what makes you invincible. It's what makes you unconquerable. <sighs> what makes you better than people who hold PhD? What makes you better than people who hold certificate? It's the fact that you are full of God's word. Thank God for certificate. Too. Thank God for PhD. Thank God for doctorate. But if you don't have word, you are useless. It is the amalgamation of certificate coupled with God's word that makes you a stunner. I speak over your life. 2022, God will wipe away your tears. I say the word of God will take you to where God is waiting for you. Somebody shall fire. The mercy of God. Sit down, sit down, sit down. The mercy of God. Pastor Mike, anytime God embellishes you, Anytime God embellishes his children with mercy. Listen, your persecutors, eh? the people that despise you, the people that hate you, when God embellishes you, God shows you mercy, they drop their stones. <laughs> you remember the woman that was caught in adultery? You remember? She was caught in adultery. They brought the woman to Jesus. They were ready to stone the woman to death. That was the law. But the woman encountered Christ. And Christ tampered justice with mercy. Before they knew it, every one of the persecutors, the accuser, they drop their stone and walk away. 2022, anybody that is looking for you, eh, to destroy you, anybody looking for you to fight you unnecessarily, by the mercy of God, they will drop their stones and walk away. I said they will drop their stones and walk away. That is the power of mercy. That is the impact of mercy. Somebody shout, I need the mercy of God. Listen, when God shows you mercy, Pastor Kelly, people that want to provoke you, people that want to fight you unnecessarily, they give up and they get away. Listen, when you meet the devil, ask him. He will tell you, anytime they want to attack a man or a woman that carries mercy, they advise themselves. Because when you meet somebody, God has shown mercy. The more you fight them, the more they rise. The more you say they will never get married. They walk down the aisle with their husband and wife. And not just that, before you know, they are carrying triplets. They are carrying twins. As you are fighting them, can't you see they are succeeding? That is what the mercy of God does. When God shows you mercy, your enemies will say among themselves, this one left him. After all, is that the only target we have? Because the more we hate the person, the more today he's in America. The more tomorrow she's in London. The more the other day she's in Dubai. Today she's starting a business in East Lagos. Another day, another business in Chowulu. You cannot fight a man. God has shown mercy. And tonight, congratulations. Because as you are receiving this encrafted word, the mercy of God is locating you. I said the mercy of God is locating you. Somebody rise up and shout, I am the one. When God's mercy rubs on you, oh, even your enemies will be at peace with you. Suddenly, a known enemy will tell you, I appreciate you. <laughs> mercy will bend your neck. They have to accept. Hi, I just felt something in my spirit. Can I make a prophecy? I don't like your vibration. The Holy Ghost just dropped. Can I make a prophecy? Let me stand on this exalted altar. By the mercy of God, before end of November, your results would punish your insult. The Holy Ghost said, prophesy to them, before end of November, every insult in your life, may your results punish it by fire. I say, may your results punish it by fire. Some of you get ready, before November ending, you will count money like never before. You will buy property like never before. You will drive a good car end of this month. Receive that encounter. Receive that mercy. Somebody shall fire. Shake your body shall fire. Jump on your feet shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. The mercy of God. The mercy of God. The mercy of God. Ah, the mercy of God. Listen, you have never seen a demon before, but the day you meet one, they will confess to you. That when we are sent to a man that carries mercy, we don't go. Because it's, it's time wasting. No. You hate them, they multiply. You hate them, they succeed. You fight them, they succeed. 
Was it not the same person we said she would not get married? Not only married did she get, she's also an MD now. Ah, it will take the mercy of God. I hear in the corridors of heaven, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man. But there are about 120 people in this service tonight. You may be online, you are not exempted. I profess out with my eyes open. Before end of November, you'll be jumping with a testimony. I don't know who I'm prophesying to. Before November summarizes, you will have an unimaginable testimony. Somebody shout, I am the one. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Let's push it. Sit down. When you read the book of Psalm 102, the verse 13, very profound scripture. Give it to me. Thou shall arise. And what will happen? Talk to me. What will happen? Have mercy upon Zion. Zion is the church. But tonight, I give you permission by divine endorsement. Remove Zion. Put your first name. Thou shall arise and have mercy on King Sili. Hey! If you, not the church, it's you. Somebody say, it's me, it's me. Have mercy on who? Have mercy on who? Kingsley. Why are you mentioning your name? What of me? Or is your own time? Tonight you want to experience mercy. So God will have mercy on who? <laughs> listen, listen. Let me advise you. Can I advise you? I'm your father. Can I talk to you? When you meet a man or a woman, God has shown mercy. Eh? Don't abuse them. Don't insult them. Don't mock. Even if they don't have a car, don't mock them. When you meet somebody that has collided into supernatural mercy, he may not be educated, but be careful. It's I don't know. I'm not okay. But don't mind the tenses. <laughs> blah. Don't mind the blah. Forget that. Once the person carries mercy, don't mock them. Don't denigrate them. Don't disdain them. You know why? In fact, don't even attempt to compete with them. Because if you compete with a man God has shown mercy, you will become an article of no economic value. A prototype of colossal disgrace. Don't dare. Don't. Don't. You may have degree. They may not have degree. But they have what you don't have. Mercy is far superior to any degree. One of the greatest things in this life is the mercy of God. So when you meet somebody that carries mercy, tread cautiously. Those of you who are very close to your Bible will come to this scripture again. If you are very, you are a student of the you remember David? A man after God's own heart. You remember David? Hello. You know there are people when we get to heaven I will look for. David and Paul. Paul no in Petitia. Just say, Obi a finish basket. But the impact of Paul. The letters were true. The guy was brutal. I would be trouble by Bonoa Kase. Oh, you foolish Galatians. Who has bewitched? And that church, I hear you with my answer. Send the prophet now, sorry, there. It's me for a Macadaw. Must I tell you, pass? Move you on now. Ah, I'm on my view. Paul, no, I cannot call him, baby. Check your Bible. The guy was raw, brutal. They put him in a basket. They just were vertically impaired. Do the natural in conformity and he can come to the world. I'm going to pay the day. 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 But yeah, turn up on the micro social media. Say, hey, I have something I'm going to say. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to hear you. You remember David made a grievous mistake. He killed Uriah. How many of you remember? Took the wife Bathsheba. God showed up. Said, "Oh boy, I will deal with you. How could you have done this? In fact, I will spank on your bottle seriously." David, by the time I'm through with you, you will forget your name. God was angry because David should have known better. Hello? You have many wives. You have many concubines. I have approved them. 
What is your problem? <laughs> you killed somebody's husband and took the wife. Ah, God was angry. He said, no, I will discipline you. will never forget. Hmm. Then God allowed Absalom, his biological son. The guy dealt with his father seriously. In fact, he oppressed, he afflicted his father to a point. David took to his heels. David that was so anointed when his son threatened to kill him. That guy stayed a good guitar. In fact, the guy was so wicked. Eh? His wickedness was in excess against David. He overstepped his boundaries in terms of wickedness. He brought out David's wives, slept with them openly. Public poncho. He brought all, it was in his, he brought all of them out, naked them, and slept with every one of them. Such level of disdain, such level of denigration. As if it was not enough. The guy now wanted the father's throne. He was looking for an occasion to kill his own biological father. And then he says, you. <laughs> and guess what? When David got the information, he and his men took to their heels. So on the road of escape, there was this guy called Shimei. Shimei was one of, I mean, he was from Saul's lineage. Shimei was a descendant of Saul. Shimei started mocking David. Started abusing. You see your life. You took this throne from Saul. Proper king Saul. You took it from him. Now see the shame. See the disgrace you have brought to this kingdom. But guess what? When David was on the road of escape, he was still saying, Lord, remember my son Absalom. What a man. Somebody's looking for you to kill you. And yet you are saying, Lord, tamper justice with mercy. David had the heart of mercy. How many of us, somebody truly wants your, wants your throne? And you can still pray and say, Lord, ha, you won't do that. So this is mighty David, the man of war. David, that God has so anointed. God himself said, I have found David my servant. And with my holy oil, have I anointed him? Was Shimei not afraid? Was Shimei not afraid to abuse David? Because most times, people who criticize, people who mock you, people who vilify and insult you, they don't even know when you and God reconciled. David had long settled his quarrel with God. And yet Shimei was spewing baldatas, spewing nonsense. Why? Because he thought David's throne was taken from him and David would never return to the throne. In fact, at some point, David's men said, sir, give us the command. Let's kill this guy. David said, no, don't kill him. Don't. It's not his fault. This abuse, this denigration is because of what I did. Hey, this man has a heart of mercy. He said, don't. Then guess what? At last, Absalom died. David's throne was restored to him. Shimei didn't know that the throne he thought he had lost forever was going to return. The people who are misrepresenting you in your office. The people who are undermining you in your family. The people who are undermining you in your circle of friends. They don't know that this year, before the year summarizes, whatever they use to destroy you, God will use the same thing to promote your destiny. God will use the same thing to restore you to where you first belong. Receive that impartation. Receive that exclusive privilege. Somebody shall I take it by fire. They don't know. They don't know. But this year, in fact, before end of November, all the secret meetings they are holding against you, all the secret meetings they are holding in your father's house, in your mother's house, in your place of work to bring you down. I prophesy to you. Before they know it, your entire household will be promoted. I said God will promote you. By the mercy of God, in the next three weeks, enter your promotion. Enter your promotion. Enter your promotion. Take some tristers and shout, I enter by fire. of your hands. I feel the spirit of prophecy. Can I tell you something? Lift up your hands. I'm here in the corridors of heaven. There are certain areas of your life you are physically qualified for. But there are some diabolical men 
There are some evil women who are using dubious means to close that door and take it from you. But tonight, by the power of mercy, whatever belongs to you, that wicked spirits are trying to sabotage you and deny you all. After tonight, mercy shall deal with them. I say mercy shall deal with them. Whoever is holding your finances down, saying this year, before 31st December, in this economic meltdown, you will become poor, you will become impoverished. Mercy will harass them. I don't like your amen. Mercy will harass them. Somebody shout, I will not be poor. Shout it in this economy. By the mercy of God, I will flourish. I will thrive. I will succeed. Receive that impartation. That is the mercy of God. Listen, our confidence. I was telling mommy, we we're discussing something. I said, honey, when I look in the spirit, things are not going to get better. Don't let anybody deceive you. Things are not going to get better. From where I sit, I didn't see something good coming. Then I said, Lord, what do we do? He said, don't worry. Just like the days of old. In Egypt, there was darkness. But among my people, there was light. In Acts of the Apostles 17, 28, the Bible said, in him, in him. Somebody shout in him. Yeah. Go talk to me. Say, in him. Yeah. So, take in pigeon. You come and say, J or I. Eh? Come out your eye from the economy or the government of Ghana. Come out your eye. Concentrate on the economy of heaven. My God shall supply my needs according to his riches. Not from the economy of Ghana. Not from the government of Ghana. Our source, our supply is above. He that is above is above all. I prophesy 2022. Your God will feed you. Your God will take care of you. By the mercy of God in this economy, you will build your house. You will finish your project. You will drive your dream car. Some of you get ready. Before December, you will be driving your new car. You will be entering a new office. Receive that blessing. Receive that opportunity. Shake your legs, shall fire. Shake your body, shall fire. Jump on your feet, shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our confidence is in God. In Him we live. In Him. Have you soon forgotten that it was in COVID some people still became millionaires? It was COVID time. Amazon, his finances went up. It skyrocketed. In the midst of catastrophe, some people became big boys. <laughs> Listen, some unbelievers that you think are succeeding in they may not admit it to. But what is helping them to succeed is God's mercy. Mercy is the rain that falls on everybody's roof. Mercy is the rain that falls on everybody's roof. They may not admit. But what is working for them is the mercy of God. It's the mercy of God. It's the mercy of God. Oh. Marvin, when God gave me this revelation of mercy, I preached many things. So perhaps I've even preached mercy before. I think one day Pastor Michael was telling me I preach on house of mercy or something. But when God gives me a revelation, this particular revelation, I was gleeful in my spirit. I was elated. You know why? Because when God gives me a new word, I preach it to myself first. See, sometimes who say I'm a chrome, I'm a drive, I'm a kasa kasa. I'm speaking in the language of the spirit. Because my home baby. Because whatever I preach, I'm not those kind of people who preach what I've not experienced. No, no, no. If I teach on finance, God must really show me favor in finances. Are you with me at all? I can't talk about what I've not experienced. If I do that, I'm a hypocrite. How can I be telling you, don't, funny, don't commit adultery if I'm committing adultery? It doesn't sit well with me. I can only talk about what I've experienced. The apostle said, that which our eyes have seen, eh? our hands have handled, that we preach. They told the man at the beautiful gate, silver and gold we don't have, but such as we have, we give you. So you cannot give what you have not experienced. You cannot give what you don't have. 
So when God gave me the, when God gave me this revelation, oh boy, I realized that God is merciful. Telling how many in you. I'm telling you. Sometimes I almost want him own kayo. I mean, what did he? You are now surviving and confirm surviving. You saw what my son said. The same surgery, people go and they don't recover. I was, I was telling mommy an encounter I had in the US. Lady Bia Neba is struggling to speak. And they brought the case to me. I said, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going a demonic papa, serious witchcraft. Mercy. Look at it. Sam, go back. Let me show you. I'm rounding off. Look at it. And have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. So, mercy is the forerunner of favor. Mercy must precede favor. So, if you don't listen, if you don't have mercy in your life, you will struggle. Why you are struggling is because there is no mercy in your life. I'm telling you, that's why this month eh, is crucial. Because we need God's mercy in so powerful dimension. Because if you don't have mercy, no matter your rigorous prayer and fasting, you will still be frustrated. Because mercy is what creates favor. Mercy is what creates an atmosphere for favor to explode. So without mercy in your life, no favor. No favor. Perhaps the reason why you are stagnant in life, you are not going forward, you are not seeing progress, is because there is no mercy in your life. And if there is no mercy, your life will lack savour. There will be no salt. The Bible said, if there is no salt in your life, you are good for nothing. So if there is no mercy in your life, you become irrelevant. What makes you important? Is the mercy of God. Why? Because it will embellish you with favor. What is favor? <laughs> what is favor? Many definitions. But this even the Holy Ghost gave me one. Maybe you have heard it. Maybe you have not heard it. Favor is the tangible evidence. Eh? In a person's life. That says God has approved you. <laughs> tangible evidence. In the life of a person. That says God has endorsed you. So when God endorses you by mercy, eh, who can reject you? You, you? God says, honor this person. You say, I will not honor. It's not the man. It's God you are fighting. Another definition for favor. I like this one. Undeserved opportunity. Undeserved privilege. Can I tell you something? In your lifetime, eh, you will live in a house you didn't buy. You will live in a mansion you didn't build. You will drive a car. It was not your money that bought it. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. That is mercy for you, my dear. That is mercy. That is mercy. That is what? Mercy. This is the impact of mercy. It creates favor in your life. Me, I'm a product of favor. God has shown me so much mercy. Can't you see mommy and I? Today we were discussing something. And she was asking me, will I do this thing? And I, then I was telling mommy, you know, sometimes you don't want people to be intimidated. God, people are not matured. Sometimes people can appreciate and celebrate good things. It rather makes them jealous. It rather makes them envious. So sometimes, you want to keep some details. Are you with me at all? That's why I like that song. I am the one that you have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. It's a powerful song. Because sometimes when you are alone, the thing you escape that nobody escapes. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. Sing it, sing it. I'm, I'm the one, one 
that you Show have shown me mercy. mercy. Come on, sing it for one minute. Show ah. Personalize the song. He has shown you mercy. And in case you didn't know tonight, he's pouring his mercy upon you. Oh, you are shown us mercy. And I'm telling you, listen, even if a man or a woman helps you eh, and is outside of God's mercy, that help, I'm telling you, it's not a prophecy, it's a promise, it's temporal. But if God helps you, somebody shows up in your life, helps you because of God's mercy, that help is forever. It's eternal. I'm telling you. Listen, anything mercy gives to you, no witch anywhere can take it from you. What God has given to me in life and in ministry, which witch can take it from me? When I'm not backslided, when I'm not cheating on mommy. Hey, be my man of pay. Bra will bring in a cheating, I will bring. And I have a break. I have a break. You will be in the castle, we okay, dear. I tell you, now we need no pay. I tell you, dear. I tell you, 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 but God will say, no, 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 don't dare touch this one. No. When we have a problem, we, we know how to settle our quarrel. Stay out of it. Ah, Miriam, were you not afraid? Aaron, you are the one talking to Moses like this. You people didn't have a ministry until I called this man. I was the one that told you don't marry from that tribe. But I had a meeting with Moses. We had a caucus. You are not aware. You people, I speak to you in dreams. Oh. But this one is face to face. I was the one that told him to marry the Ethiopian woman. Why? Because I want to bring back the Midianites to the original covenant. How dare you criticize Moses? The people took out Samson's eyes. They were throwing a party. Shaved his head. They were mocking Samson. But they didn't know God had tempered justice with mercy. God sent a young lad to carry him. When he held the pillars, he killed more than when he was even alive. When God shows a man mercy, don't be quick to judge the man. Don't. 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 Listen, all the people who are busy misrepresenting you. Leave them. They are undermining you. They are forced. Leave them. Leave them. Say, who could not because why I asked one day? Oh, you're so misbehaving. 
Jairo, mercy will take care of that place. Mercy has a way of humbling you. He said, God will show you mercy. Now, mercy, you know, for, for some people, anytime they hear mercy, what comes to mind is forgiveness of sins. What comes to mind is what? But mercy is copious. Mercy is far gargantuan than just forgiveness. Forgiveness of sin is just an aspect of mercy, Reggie. Mercy is bigger than just forgiveness of sins. In fact, some of you don't know because if all you think of mercy as forgiveness of sins, that's a very myopic way of thinking. Very, very antiquated. Again, do you know mercy is also a killer? <laughs> mercy can kill you. When God, through Pastor Moses, led them from Egypt, told that bad boy, Pharaoh, let my people go, and they went through the Red Sea. Remember, they are enemies. God buried them in the Red Sea. And the Bible said that was a way of God exhibiting mercy. People die, God says mercy. So mercy is a killer. Tonight, even if a sin that is holding you, God's mercy will forgive you. But that's not what I'm talking about. If there are people planning your demise, this year, mercy will kill every one of them. But that's not what I'm talking about. The mercy here is not talking of forgiveness of sins. The mercy here is not talking of killing. The mercy here is simply talking of God's kindness. God's kindness. When it hits you, you succeed. That's what we need. In this Ghana, you need the mercy of God. I'm telling you. Hey, Friday, I'm in the chrome. The chrome is ray. Friday, bah, traffic in the chrome. Tuesday, traffic. Wednesday, traffic in the chrome. What man, sorry. Hmm. You already said traffic. You said traffic in the chrome. You said, go for two cars. You know. My two cars here, I see it a three calendar, and I said, repeat it. In 2022. So I the history of the agro. So I need to and I'm going to be a rapture. What if I know the agro? So I'm going to be a rapture. 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 I'm going I can't add the other two when you swarm panasu. So, Rapture, see, pa, now no girlfriend. I mean, was side a cock. If we walk, can you see, I don't mind, Bassa, I say, on Unquan, I say, and phobia. Because you are not supposed to indulge in that foolishness. Hello? The mercy of God. I'm concluding. Are you blessed tonight? Yeah. Now listen. If you truly want to be a beneficiary of mercy, God said I should tell you this. You must also dispense mercy. You can't receive mercy if you are not dispensing mercy. Is it Matthew 5, 7? He said, blessed are the merciful. For they shall do what? Obtain mercy. So if you are not giving out, forgive people cheaply. Hey, he hurt me. He having to hurt somebody. The person jilted me. The person you are already calling the person ex, and you are still holding the person. The person is your ex. Leave the person. Forgive your wife. Forgive your husband. That is mercy. Be merciful to people. Okay. If you don't show mercy to others, you will not receive mercy. Forgive us our trespasses as we also. So you can only receive forgiveness when you are forgiving yourself. Listen, holding people in your heart eh, will not bring blessing, will not bring promotion. People, people will always be people. Eh, ni pa oye den. Na unse sometimes why we kuru kuru me misbehave. Oye ni kuru me misbehave. Unye kuru me misbehave. Yes, I'm sorry, them. Yes, sister and brother. So sorry, so no obinka. Preach, I'm preaching. You know, be jina wani. Oh, no. So my father will cry. I'm in check. I'm in. I'm in check. Oh, 
Obi an check Obi as we come in here as him. Opa fa, Opa men fa. Adanu be true oh. Ewe ewe bi a ujina. Namu sma ewe bi a ujina. Na de a mistake kase. Father, I'm suffering because I didn't hear. Me si be bi a Obi. Abu hu chedi am di be fins. Preach me preach you whatever. My cassette and son, my cassette and Jamai, my cassette and side chick, my cassette and side elephant, my cassette and cock, my cassette and you be brave whatever. So we be out there now, Jina. Two drop on same Jamai. Come on, say me me feature or have in pet now. Who me flat? Come on, two and sukra on same Jamai. Come here, crown. Me bawa be catch me man. Say I go away there. Me throw torment and a power mommy. That's one thing. We can't do crane to pass very way. Now, sorry, Ben, I'll pay. Oh, boy, Jamaica, clear here. Oh, yeah, 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 why do you want to deliberately fall into darkness so that you can look for that scripture? If I sit in darkness, that kind of darkness is not what you are thinking of. Darkness of poverty, darkness of confusion, darkness of bad love, not darkness of deliberate adultery, deliberate fornication. The next time we do holiness now and never have some things to say, there are some sins God can never forgive you. Some of you don't know. Is in Hebrews? I'll prove to you. There are some sins you commit. You'll be telling yourself, God has forgiven me. It's you that is saying it. God didn't tell you. The next time I do, hold me. Hold me. I'm having to ask you because I say I get tension. So I say, yeah. I'm telling you, there are some sins some of you are committing. God, has, God will not forgive you. He will never forgive you. Particularly sins you commit deliberately. Who didn't a bunny in a so now I will show you from scripture. But if I would, I would not say. But then I would. I am your own friend. I feel you are my show. Because see, I have been imagining. So I go check girl. We go. She know that. Now we run and run. A deliberate too. We now be imagining we burn some fire. No, be sure we move. I am only nice and seven the count. And I don't know what came over me. Obi I knew the came over. Who drew on Sam Jaman who explained his answer? But if you be a DB, I will need that one. So perhaps for some of you, this teaching is the last warning. It's what? So you are not catching. So what? The last chance. Catching. All the time on air, Rabba Sam Nair guy guy. I bet two and this one. Catching. I bet two and this one. The last one again. Messi ne chemu ne free ha no no no. Se se u free ha o kawo se ko be bi fufura. E se u dimi ko bi e wo. Because no, I'm telling you, there are some sins God will not forgive you. I hold na un person o bete ba me ka chere o. God will not forgive when it's deliberate, it's conscious. When him say dear, we ye me yiren cheme da, me kron cheme da, and yah hey, yah me atro. Now we be facing at the right time. We be facing, and on the day of judgment, you be play a video on the main stream. Saints that not confessed and repented from, you be play a video. Now imagine me. Now my wife is now. Tell me what Kukuwa Muni or maybe Anna Muni. You have bought me video. Now, Ruth in the airbag. Adobe in a twasway. Memuna in a twasway. Amonu a twasso. Hey, I'm telling you, at that point, who must keep permission? Say, Rade, eh, me papa, yeah. Hey, Momono, Momone, papa, papa. Say, they know Cassette, and I know when you'll be over Philly. Who yammy? Oh, who yammy? Heaven come near Britain. Somebody shall mercy. If you want to enjoy mercy, start giving mercy. Because God has been too merciful to us. That's why sometimes we take it for granted. Paul said, Should we continue to sin? Because grace, because mercy abounds. 
He said, God forbid. God forbid. Don't abuse them. Now, let me tell you something. As much as mercy is beautiful, mercy is this, mercy is that, you can lose it too. No, you can lose mercy. Mercy is not forever. If you misbehave, mercy will leave you. But I pray, in your lifetime, may mercy never leave you. No, listen. If mercy leaves you, eh? Mama, your jacket. You have to meet me. If mercy leaves you, eh? Let's just say this jacket that I've taken from him, eh? That is mercy. Mercy has left Pastor Mike. It's an illustration. It will never leave him in Jesus' name. So see it as. Can I get another jacket? Give me another jacket. Pastor Mike, wear this one. This is mercy. Alright? But it's removed. It's redrawn. But he's not aware. So, physically, in his mind, he believes he's still enjoying mercy. Move around. But what he's wearing is no longer mercy. Though he's still wearing the jacket. But the mercy is no more. Is gone. That's why on the day of judgment, people will say, Father, we did this in your name. We did that in your name. Because they believed when they were doing it, they were still enjoying mercy. But they didn't know mercy had departed. Those of you who drive, you know sometimes, and as they say, you cry, 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 you but here it's not about the name. Are you aware? But your take out you is at the free. That's how it is. When mercy leaves you, you don't know. Because immediately mercy leaves, a counterfeit thing enters your life, gives you resource to deceive you to think that you are still enjoying mercy. So when mercy leaves the scene, the devil enters. Still gives you resource. So even as a man of God, it's not God. It's Satan that has entered. Lift up your two hands. Say, Lord, may I never lose your mercy. Give me James chapter 2 verse 13 and I'm rounding off. Stand to your feet. This is the last scripture. Don't lose your mercy. Don't. Don't. For he shall have judgment without what? That has showed So you see how God would deal with people who don't show mercy. Because when God shows you mercy, he expects that you too you show others mercy. Don't take mercy for granted. Show people mercy. In your department, you are not talking to somebody. Go and talk to the person. Go and talk to the person. Whether in choir, whether in protocol, whether in usher, whether, whichever. Maybe you are not even in any department. But there are some people in this church, you, when you see them, you frown. Hey. Those who are Christian, you are. Put me too near to the I will sell you near back. Is that mercy? Sometimes you can so misrepresent people that people hate people for no reason. I'm telling you. One day, I met a man of God. He said, man of God, I didn't know you were this nice. I said, how? He said, from afar, he said, I want mafia me. I want mafia me. I didn't know what he was thinking. So it was at the mall. I said, man of God, we okay? I said, I'm shocked. And I said, so I remember I came home and I asked mommy, I remember I came home and I asked mommy, I said, no, tell me, am I proud? Because all this while I know some this But the man never got close to me. But what people who are envious of me told him. Said, I don't Everything we have today is the mercy of God. I, I don't think there's anybody here that you want to see me uh, 
But people misrepresented me. And the guy felt that way. Now that guy started telling people who were also thinking the same. No, 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 no. Tell her a nice person. Why a nice person? Why a nice person? Of course, with all my niceness, I still have to exercise some restraint. Because sometimes Nipa take on due advantage. But the fact that somebody thinks that you are something you are not, just because of what somebody said. And the person who said it is a Christian. And you will be an AO. You're both a problem. Your name will never come up for a good reason. God will judge you. God will judge you. Anybody that frustrates mercy, God will judge you. So you are supposed to give mercy cheaply. Forgive people. Forgive people. Forgive them. Keep your reasonable distance. That's wisdom. Don't take yourself to them to abuse you again. But don't hate them. Tell the person we are okay. But I think it's best if you keep your distance, I keep my distance. If for some reason we meet, that's okay. But keep your distance. That's wisdom. But don't hate it. Don't go to another person. Shy away. Who do you want to hear? Shy away. Shy away. Bema would be concerned. Because one unknown to your rent in tea. We be an hour. People are running their mouth because they don't pay rent. If we were to be paying rent on our mouth, you will not be saying some things. Kada kwa woka sa nwa ka ketrema. O sa ka sa nwa ka ketrema na ete. Intro, intro, intro. Look at somebody and say, stop misrepresenting people. There are people naturally, they are quiet. That's who they are. Accept them like that. Don't go and tell somebody, share one year dindins, I want to one check. Oh, oh, feel you back. Now, what will you gain? Respect people's privacy. Don't go and say things that will make somebody look evil. But if you do that, God will do what? You are supposed to show. Look at somebody next to you. Tell the person, if there's anybody you must go and show mercy to from here, go and show mercy. Some of you, how you know you have shown mercy? I hey, have sent the momo 200, 300. Catch and say, can we go for lunch together? Call your wife. Tell your wife, it's okay. No more quarrel. No more quarrel. I forgive you. Call your husband. I'm not talking about boyfriend, girlfriend. I'm family. But call your wife. Call your husband. Somebody said that the other day, boyfriend and girlfriend. Same question here. I mean, need time, mama. But if it's a serious boyfriend, serious girlfriend, you can call and say, I forgive you. Forgive you for something that is forgivable. <laughs> There's unforgiveness. When you forgive, you move on. You cheated on me. I forgive you, but I move on. Simple. That's courtship. In marriage, it's not easy to move on like that. <laughs> Go and show people mercy. Are you with me at all? Call your dad. Say, dad, I love you. I appreciate you. I forgive you. You didn't pay my school fees. You treated me badly. But because of God's mercy, I also show mercy. Find a way of talking to your mother. You have an older brother, older sister, younger brother. You are not talking. Go and talk to them. Solve your problem. Because if you don't, because God said, I've shown you mercy. So if you don't show mercy, look at Jesus. My goodness. Is it Luke 23, 34? On the cross. He said, Father, forgive them. For they know not how, did, how can you tell us they don't know what they are doing? No. Did Jesus not know when they were flocking him? When they said crucify, didn't he hear? But he had to assume not knowing so he can show them mercy. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not. But he knew. But to show mercy, you must pretend you don't know what they did. Tonight, surprise somebody you know is speaking evil of you. Go to the person and say, my dear, how are you? Is everything okay? I appreciate you. Hey, on to me, Nebium. That's mercy. 
Don't, don't let people change you. Don't let people's evil actions change you. Oh, who is that? Oh, you know that? You know that? I won't check him. I'm going to check him. What? Who is that? Christo? You'll be able to make a see a tool for. You'll be able to make a see a tool for. I just want to consign him. You're a tool for. You're going to make a see a tool for. You're going to make a see a tool for. You're going to make a see a tool for. You're going to make a Stand to your feet. I'm the little voice. The lost sheep lost in sin and fear. Oh, where the earth you for the love. Thank you, Lord. For the love of me. You look past my sin, my good, my shame. For the love. That's love. You look Listen, we are going to do something very prophetic. Everybody rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. Those of you on this side, those of you on this side, get up from your chair. Walk to this side. Look for anybody. Give them a high five and tell the person, you are my brother, you are my sister. Look for somebody. Those of you here, move to the other side. Somebody you know that you know. Go to the person. Look for somebody. Just give the person a high five. Tell the person, you are my brother, you are my sister. I appreciate you. That looks like a parachute. You know a parachute? I saw several of them in the atmosphere. And I saw people lifted up. And the Lord said, prophesy to my people that in tonight's service, no matter the challenges of the economy of Ghana, what you see that looks like a parachute is a sign that I've lifted them above the crisis. Lift up your hands. Say, tonight, I receive mercy to soar, to fly above the problems, the challenges, the apparent economic crisis in this nation. Say, Lord, I am flying above it. I am soaring above it. In the name of Jesus, say, by the mercies of God, I am above only every problem, every challenge, every crisis, say by the mercy of God, 2022, I will end well, I will end well, I will end well, clap your hands and pray that prayer, pray that prayer for two minutes, pray that prayer, pray Let's 
seconds. Pray, pray, pray. You will be lifted. You will be lifted. You will be lifted. In the name of Jesus. Now, tonight, you are standing anywhere in this auditorium. You are saying, Daddy, I need the mercy of God. Listen, you need God's kindness. I need it too. We need the mercy of Sometimes, you have tried everything possible, but it's still not working for you. You are saying, Lord, tonight, if it will take your mercy to take me from the back and put me in front, I want to pray for you. Come here. I'm going to pray for you. Very simple instruction. I'm going to pray for you. Oh, Jesus. The mercy of God. We need it in this season. Oh, Jesus. Lift up your hands. Oh, mercy will create favor for you before end of this year. I'm telling you. My dear, I saw somebody put something in your hands and suddenly you started rejoicing. Somebody is going to bless you. You just step into unusual favor. God said, I should tell you, it won't be long. This man, somebody is bringing something you are looking for. Oh, Jesus. You won't see You'll be at Tunisia. And this sister is rejoicing because she can't believe you know, sometimes you hear people testify of things and you are thinking, what of me? Something that only God can provide, God is bringing it into her spirit and it will be manifesting very soon in your life. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My son, come. The one in the glasses, protocol, come. Come, come, pass here. Pass here. Spiritually, my woman said, Why a thin, thin chain will hide? And the Lord is saying to me, Pray for him because a giant door is opening for you this minute. Something that is going to make you a high flyer. Everything is going to change after this prayer. Oh, Jesus. Father, I anoint this lady. Hmm. Congratulations. Ah, you will get what you are looking for. You will come and testify. God said, I should tell you, it is done. Father, I anoint him. Oh, you will be ten times better than his contemporaries. That door that just opened, no man can shut it. What mercy has done now no devil can terminate it. Get ready for an explosion. In the name of Jesus. Mommy, come. You, come. When we say somebody has entered supernatural favor, do you understand? Hmm. What is coming to you is huge. I saw angels, about six of them, they had formed like a runabout. And every one of those angels were excited for this lady. And I asked the Lord, what is this? The Lord said, tell her, everything about her life is going to become easy. You can write it later when you go and sit down. But one day, I was searching for something. And God told me something. He said, sweat is not equivalent to wealth. Sweat. Hard work is not equivalent to wealth. I said, Lord, what do you mean? He said, there are people who wake up every Monday. They don't sweat, but they are counting money. Tomorrow, somebody will call and say, I'm going to rent. Okay. Now, stores in a work room in this way. Now, dollars in a bedroom. In this same Ghana. So, people too are sweating, but nothing to show. 
God said I should tell you. He's presenting to you sweatless blessing. That is the kind of favor God is bringing into her life. Mommy, I you. A friend of Kingsley, George, dear Adiman. Well, who me are? A wife or a wife, no one. So, Tony, I won't see another. Where's she another? May me hear me. Much more. To one who make her now, who I don't want to tell you. Yeah, go your baby shroud. You don't know what is ahead of you, but what is coming is heavy. Father, I put this oil on her. Beginning from today, sweatless blessing, sweatless favor. Oh, Jesus. Now lift up your hands. Say this with me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As my hands are lifted, I decree over my life the mercy of God will locate me. Say, Lord, after tonight, let your mercy never leave my life. Without your mercy, I will struggle. Therefore, let your mercy come upon me. Mercy, come. Mercy, come. Mercy, come. Now put your two hands on your head. Father, I place a crown of mercy, a crown of separation, a crown of segregation. By this crown on their head, every one of them that came tonight, including those online, whatever it takes for them to enter the atmosphere of favor, let mercy plunge them in that atmosphere. Everyone that is here tonight, before end of this month, Lord, give them a remarkable testimony. That says the Lord. This man, God will give you something that will satisfy your spirit, satisfy your soul, satisfy your flesh. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I don't know what the bread represents for you. But it's surely something that will bring you settlement. Something that will open a giant door for you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. But there is a political vision in your spirit. The Lord said I should tell that person it will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Because all political ambition you know, is to bring people also closer to Christ. That says the Lord. I'm not talking of my brother because he's already in politics. But there is somebody you are making plans to enter politics. That says yes, the Lord. There is a gentleman. Grace. Grace is coming upon you. Mercy is coming upon you. I want to close on time. But that person, when we close, make sure you come to the office. Talk to the protocol. Tell them, I, am in, I, I want to do politics. In fact, you want to join a party that is already in opposition. You are saying, this party is where I want to plunge my own. Come to me, I'll pray for you. Because the, the, the key for excellence has already been released to you. Oh, Jesus. Father, I bless everyone here. Oh, it is done. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Come on, clap those hands. We want, to, we want to quickly receive our offering. Quickly. Take your offering. Take your offering. 100 CD, 250. Grab that offering. Come and drop it on the altar. Grab that offering. If you are doing it online, go ahead. Go ahead and do it. Whatever you want to drop, come and drop it. If you are doing it by Momo, the information will be there. Vanessa, please get ready and come. We are, we are out of here in five minutes. I told you we'll be closing very early. And this is how we'll be closing Holy Ghost services. So that we can go back and prepare for the week. Vanessa, please come. Please take that offering. 100, 250. Come and drop it on the altar. Quickly, quickly. Get up, get up. Vanessa, come up. When you drop your offering, come up. Where is the microphone? You know, I told you that she was going to share her encounter. She was going to share. Where is the mic? Where is the mic? 
My, my dear, look, look, keep your mic because you are still on stage. You should know this by now. When Whatever you have, come and drop it. Five Ghana, ten Ghana, twenty. Come and drop that offering. Those of you online, go ahead and give electronically. The Lord bless you. You look beyond me. You look beyond me. Oh, you look beyond me. Oh, all right. All right. God bless you. Let's appreciate them. Appreciate them. Okay. Whilst they are collecting the offering, Vanessa will share with us briefly on an encounter and experience. I believe that will help some of us. Appreciate Mrs. Money as she tells us what she experienced. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 